What is this thing? I found it in a frozen meal. It's sharp and hard, spiky, and a brownish color. Ugh! That is something that should does not belong in a frozen meal <laughs> at that, all. That is a morble seed. If you let it just stay, you're going to get the Aurum Veil all over again. You don't want that. I'm wondering what I... Ugh! It could, be a, it, it could be a burdock seed. It may Have be, you ever I, seen burdock seeds? I don't know what the hell that is. I'm thinking it might be like some shrink-wrapped plastic that got heated over something, or maybe, maybe. it's a weird seed. These things turn brown and gross and stick to everything. Oh, those things. Yeah, I know yeah. what those are. I'm not sure. Looks like it might be a sea pod. Try crossing this to what is this plant? Now I need answers. I don't care about your burger friends. Oh, they're homemade finger buns. That makes sense. Oh, fantastic. Well, now we have the answer. It was a seed pod from a bean plant. There we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calbus. My name is Luma, and with me today is my good friend Zed. Yes. And today we are looking at r slash what is this thing? A subreddit so engrossing we are unable to do it by ourselves for the excitement becomes too much. I think we fooled them with that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that one. As usual, if someone is asking what the hell something obvious is, we reserve the right to point and laugh. Very heartily, like... <laughs> Fool. Let's just get right into it. Yeah, friend received this passed down from his great great grandfather. It's believed to be from Persia, about 2,000 years old. That's just a hairpin, is it not? Either a hairpin or a pizza iron. <laughs> Wait, what's the scale on this? Hold yeah, on. Yeah, that's it's... the issue. Like, is this a table or is this like a banister? <laughs> and <laughs> hang on, if that's a banister, how are they on a ladder to take this photo? What's the hang on? No. <laughs> How tall is this person? Dude, this is... I love that they're like, what is this thing? And we're like, what are you? <laughs> I reckon it's a hairpin. Oh, no, I'm definitely in agreement because I can see the top comment. It's a hairpin. <laughs> oh, well, problem solved. Mounds outside of hotel near Seoul. Well, that's where hobbits live. Oh, those are rooms. Those are like little those are little hotel rooms. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I thought they were for some other reason. I thought they were asking about the hill and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, what is this natural earth formation? I well, don't it's know not what natural. This is. You can see it, you can see the la <laughs> the latest thing, the latest is right here. You can see that they like landscaped this intentionally can, to have structure. Yeah, it's probably just if, OK, if we're talking about the hill, it's probably just like landscaping and just like re I was about to say terraforming. Is that the correct term? <laughs> it is. I thought you were about to say refrying because you got like the re in there. But yeah, no, you're right that these are probably just like small condos or like hotel rooms made for like rich travelers. Shall we find out what it is? Rich travelers, come forward, traveler. Come into my little burrow. <laughs> Being Korea, my first thought is Happy Mound, where someone is buried. Oh, oh well, rich travelers get in the <laughs> Oh, we were off base. <laughs> Completely. Yeah, you can see you can see it. That's a burial mound. Also where you'll find dragon shouts. Now I kind of want to go. Strange pipe. What is this orange sludge? Gross is exactly what it is. This is the runoff from Taco Bell's sewage plant. That's right. Every Taco Bell is also a sewage plant. I'm wondering if it might not actually be no, because you can actually see the orange stuff coming from the pipe. I thought it might actually just be like clay, which is getting washed away and you can see it more clearly. Well, what I think is happening is I don't think you're too far off. What this probably is, is an old drainage system that hasn't been used in a long, long time. That's probably rusting and oxidizing. So when like rainwater washes through it, it probably just comes out that and it's just washing I the rust <laughs> off the bottom. Because you can see there's a gradation. I don't like how you put emphasis in that sentence on come. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I do not like that. But no, I do think that this is just rust getting washed out from yeah, a, an abandoned pipe. It could be very true. Iron bacteria. I know because oh. I have this problem in my basement. It isn't fun and it isn't pretty. It's harmless, just icky and a pain in the neck. Yeah, so it's a groundwater runoff. Iron is no uh, iron bacteria is normally found in groundwater of the pipes and iron is iron is soil and feed off sludge. OK, neat. Had a stroke reading. Let's move on. Found among my dad's things. Interesting velvet box with a black object inside. Well, now, first of all, it's clearly a carrying case for the black object. Yeah, and it looks like it's either. A, is that so maybe? Oh, maybe it's for like 
dry paint or something? Maybe, or like pastels, perhaps? You put the pastels in the center, so they don't like rub off everywhere. It's a pocket hand warmer, an old one too. What? You light the rod in the middle, it is a coal, you close it and pop it back in your pocket, blow into it to stoke it up. What? Yeah, because you can't get cold if you burn it up. Let's (laughs) go. Oh, I see the hole to blow in. I don't like that this fire hand warmer has this cloth rim. That seems really unsafe. Strange metal rose, about three to four inches long, embedded in concrete in front of a pub. I have no idea what it's supposed to represent. Hoped someone here might. Ooh, okay. Is this something that someone dropped in wet concrete by accident? Or is this something intentionally placed? Because I'm leaning towards intentionally placed. I... Okay, so if it is dropped in concrete, that's hilarious. Sucks to be whoever owned that. Uh, If it is the intentional one, then it's probably a memorial or something. And it's, um, yeah, it's just an aesthetic choice. Yeah, I would be willing to bet that this is either someone passed away at the pub or something, or is like a patron of the pub. Let's find out. You could ask the pub. (laughs) Right, cool. Do we uh, keep going? Keep going. Uh, The pub is called Wild Roses, apparently. Oh. Then yeah, that's probably just yeah, it's Wild Rose. That that that's just a brand. That's just good branding. Okay, Here I cool. was thinking I had a story. It's just branding. Two plugs on this outlet. I'm not sure what either of them are for. Found in a master bedroom of a house built in the late 1970s. What? Okay, so the one on the top left, I reckon that is for an electric shaver. Because uh, I've seen those before, and they always uh, you know like how electric shavers have like the two cylindrical prongs instead of just like a normal wait no that's american plugs um <laughs> yeah so um you were close these would have to be straight and further up not necessarily i don't know I, actually do i need to turn on my webcam no and please show don't. you no a plug no i i know what plugs look like are you sure about that i know what plugs look like and i know what you look like not tonight man <laughs> ouch Fucking! <laughs> what did I do to you to deserve that? Oh, oh god! I wasn't aiming for that, but I saw it and I went for the runway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find out what it is. Old TV antenna. Oh, wait, what? So, oh, so it's like the coaxial of a different era. Oh, what kind of shapes were they dealing with? Apparently, triangles. Like just a, a shit ton of triangles. Which way does it go in? Just follow the angle. <laughs> Anyone know what this metal object is? Might be photography related. The wand. No. Oh. Oh, what is it? It is part of the old timey flashes. No, no, it's a Harry Potter wand. No, we have one of these. It's it's used to make the 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 fluorescent flash for old timey photographs. No, it's it's a Harry Potter wand. It's a stumpy, it's a chubby, it's a chump stump wand. I don't want to know what material is put inside <laughs> of a chump stump wand. Chub stump, get your law right. <laughs> I don't want to know why we're using chubs for magic. Because <laughs> it's, it's okay, think of it like a sawn off shotgun, right? Well, like, here's the thing, look at the size of this thing. This would, this would only be a half chub if you're thinking about it. It's baby's first lightsaber hilt. <laughs> Looks like it's an old-fashioned Greyflex yeah. camera flash. <laughs> it's not a Greyflex, but it was Star mentioned. Wars. It was they mentioned Star Wars. Oh it's a, god! It's a razor sharpener. I was completely off base. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I see it now. Oh my god! But I can I do have to say this has merit because we have a camera flash in this house that looks a lot like this that I inherited from my grandfather. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's both. So when you're <laughs> like, you know. Uh, when you sharpen your knife and you get ready to take the, f- the flash with the camera and, you know, just double up. American pragmatism. Why have two objects that do two things when you can have one that does neither effectively? Found in an old leather, possibly medicinal, suitcase, 12 centimeter long, pencil open when red top pushed down, 02406 CHR printed on back of old card container. CBT. Are we get- no, if you're going to say CBT, you have to do it in the approved Wikipedia way. CBT. No, it's CBT. It's straight up CBT. I don't care what other medical use this has. What proper med? It's CBT. I'm gonna be. Re- I don't think you've experienced CBT before. <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> this doesn't have enough grip for it. Anyone would know that. Um. Well, no. Maybe you've just got a weak wrist. It's all about the pressure you put on it. No, that's fair. Can I get away from the microphone now? Please. <laughs> But no, I think this is just like a, a little grabber. I don't think this is anything too medicinal. 
It no, doesn't no, no, look yeah. sterile in the slightest. It's as you say, it's probably just like medical tweezers or something. Olive pickle grabber tongs. Red <laughs> bacchiliti. Oh, so it's not medical ad... Maybe pickle. Pickle is slang for dick. CBT. No, it just hangs off the side of the cup. <laughs> it's CBT. Seeing these small posts on a walk, the numbers are etched on the top and ploakies. Norfolk, England. Anyone who can solve this is a hero. Now, I know you have a running thing of like purposely mispronouncing things, but that physically hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> oh, what, you don't like me God. talking about the plaques? Oh no, no, it was Norfolk. Oh no, I'm saying it wrong. Yes! <laughs> it's Norfolk. Yes! It's Norfolk. <laughs> American domination strikes again. Welcome to my world. I think these are the graves of science experiments. Each one a frog, the science class dismembered. I used to have these all around where I used to live. I used to live in the arse end of nowhere in um, in the, in Scotland. And uh, I used to live on a farm in, in like a small village. Uh, and these things were all over the place, like n on the farmland and like the barriers between different fields. I never knew what they were. Shall we find out together then? Please. My, I am guessing EN252 stake test. This European standard specifies a field test method for evaluating the effectiveness of wood preservatives on ground contact solutions. And if we look inside, correct. We have hey, discovered it. Heck we yeah. have discovered what the wood posts are outside of Norfolk. That man, that was a high stakes post. That post actually hurt. What is this cookie cutter shape supposed to be? You poor, poor, innocent child. You'll find Swiggity out someday. sweetness, it's a penis. Swiggity sweetness, it's a penis. Hey, now you can get that cock and ball torch you were after. Also, you might want to you might want to go see a doctor because you seem to have a growth <laughs> on the shaft. That's not all right. Primord primordial knotting, as the furries would say. <laughs> Ripped for anyone's pleasure? I don't know. <laughs> Easy to grip so your hand won't slip. The new easy grip piss. Oh, you know what it probably is. It's probably the Eiffel Tower, but misshapen. <laughs> I don't think the Eiffel Tower has a scrotum, my friend. Turn it. It's upside down. What, what part of the Eiffel Tower it's is the, the tip of the it's head? It's the shape. <laughs> it's that's not the actual shape. If that's the Let's shape, see. then it's a giraffe. <laughs> I don't I know. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Karma Sutra cookie cutter? Missionary position, but I can't link. It's from 2017. Oh, don't open it. Oh, my horny was correct. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> oh my God, I okay. was right. Okay, yeah, I see it. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not sure quite approves of this one, but you know what? <laughs> Seal of approval, CBT approved. Next post. <laughs> My grandfather gave this to me before he died. Does anyone know what it is? It's an AN I think it's an ANTSC 62. It's a rock. It appears to be a rock. Uh, I'm willing to bet that this is probably a piece of a meteorite or something from the moon or some sh**. That would be my best guess. I don't think it would be from the moon because I'm not sure NASA get, allows that stuff out, to be honest, because they catalog that stuff intrinsically. If I remember correctly, NASA was actually unfunded, so they might have sold some of it off. Oh my god, Cave Johnson, that's where you got it from. <laughs> Apparently, um, the Ar Arctic and Antarctic are good at finding meteors. Cool, so this is how the thing starts. Let's keep that the far away from me. It's a piece of metal from a military product, a TSC raw van. I have a piece of an F-16 and an F-15 from when I worked on the airplanes. They were given as team awards. Neat. So this is just a piece of metal from from, you know, the mechanic times back when we had engineer as builder Texas men. So it's the equivalent of getting like a fountain pen for working at a company for long enough. All right, cool. Yeah, this is basically like getting a tankard from Blizzard. Remember, you're underpaid, but you got a sword. I never understood why they give you a sword for that, because like it's the same That's... thing as like, hey, you've opened a bank account with us. Here's a complimentary gun. Oh, uh... <laughs> Hey man, I could use one right about now. Gun or a sword or a bank. There were many options there. Dude, gun and sword warframes are me now. <laughs> My dad found this in the house when he got back from holiday. No idea how it got here, but that's a different mystery altogether. It looks like a syringe, but the middle green bit has no hole at the end and moves up and down into the clear claws at the end. What? This looks like it's a, this is like a, a tool for you working in computers. Maybe, maybe. Let's, let's take a peek in the comments. I have no idea what this could be. I just want to fill it with beans. Uh, I reckon it's a pencil. 
Pill dispenser for pets? Oh, it's a pill dispenser for pets, and they're great for cats who refuse their meds. Uh, why'd you shove a claw? What, what's the claw for in there? Wait, is it the mouth or the back mouth? I would say the mouth, probably. Because then <laughs> they can't bite your hand. So anyway, I just want to show you my favorite subreddit really quick before we go. No! No! What we got? Hello, what is this tool called? Um, I believe it's called a cratchit or an axe bar or a crop attached. <laughs> just um hammer. It's just an hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a hammer or it could be an ammer or it could be a, a hax. But this, this is a multi-tool. It's, it's an omni-tool. Oh, dude, dang. It's going to heal me with the good gel. Oh, the yeah. Oh, it's currently sold by Lee Valley Tools and has the honor of the best product description ever. Box tool. Oh, what? Oh, how about that? It straight it's, up is there. It's made for opening crates and boxes made out of wood. That's Amazing. That's kind of useful. That's useful. Yeah. As, as someone who used to work in a warehouse, I would have killed one of these. Said we just beat the crap out of them. Sorry about your TV <laughs> if you came into my store. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvin's. My name is Lumo, and with me today is Zen. Hello! And today we're going to be looking at r slash what is this thing, a subreddit dedicated to people asking, what is this thing? And some people asking, what is this thing about obvious everyday objects? These people will be lambasted, keel-hauled, keel and laughed at mercilessly. I look forward to it. Let's just jump right in then. What is this piece of playground equipment for? Seems like it must have a function other than to just lay on it. Mm. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some, some some people just need a place to vibe. That's just a seat. <laughs> yeah, like this is just straight up. Like maybe it's a wiggle seat because it's attached to chains. Maybe you're supposed to attach the child to the chains. Who knows? Oh, let's not go down that route. It's was, very early. I was going down like the stretcher route because, you know, medieval Europe made people oh. tall against their wi- <laughs> Did you fuck? Did you think I was making- This is the second post. <laughs> <laughs> it That's is before why I said it was very early. <laughs> it is before uh, noon for me. In the words of Hideki Naganuma, I am not horny yet. No, and even then, the subject matter. No! Don't you pin this on me. You're the one that brought this up. <laughs> I am pinning it on you, sir. Ah, uh, classic deflection. Let's move on. Okay, now hold on. Hold on one minute here. <laughs> Manufacturers are providing a lot more pieces that are accessible to children with limited mobility. While this may seem less interesting at first glance, imagine the benefits of children who have never been able to climb up a slide or fire pole. Oh, it's like a little wiggle seat for people to rock around on. It's yeah. called a Galaxy Cool Play Magnet. That, okay, the name alone. It, it, it's just a seat. Yeah, it's just a seat. Just a seat. I mean, neat, I guess. I feel kind of let down that it was just a seat. I was hoping for something more. Oh, dude, we can get it in the colors of Venus. Or my favorite uh, planet, Terra. No, no, Solaris. Let's let's sit on a sun. <laughs> why why is Elon Musk making rockets when we can just sit on Mars right now? <laughs> we are in the future. <laughs> Found this while turning the garden this spring in the Appalachian foothills of Tennessee. What is this thing? It's just a it's just a primitive knife. Primitive knife? Like how? Guys, I found this bizarre knife-shaped object. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's very sharp. I used it to cut my vegetables last night. What is it? What is this knife? A canapped flint knife. The handle is probably deer antlore, so the bone would be hollow and too soft. The binding looks to be sinew. It doesn't look to be all that old. Probably a Boy Scout or survival class project. In their garden? What? Oh, oh, oh wait, yeah, okay, I forgot about that detail. Who's that? <laughs> Who's having Boy Scout retreats in their garden? I mean, well, I actually no, I used to because I used to be the senior patrol leader, but that was back when I was a child. Yeah, but not what, not without people knowing. You don't sneak into someone's backyard and be like, okay, guys, okay, here's our thing for tonight. We have to do an entire routine without them knowing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna kill the deer, get the antlers, grab the flint. Okay, we're gonna make this into a knife and everyone go to a different house and bury your knives in their garden. If they don't have a garden, plant one for them. Make sure you have your effigies and also your sacrificial circles. Make sure you leave them somewhere they're not going to immediately find them. And can I also say that this seems way too clean for them to just have pulled up? Like, I don't know, this, this, this reeks of fishy I want karma. Maybe I'm just being too cynical here. Strange ceramic jar. What is this? Only has side opening. It is a thermos. 
It's a weird soup thermos. You think so? I, mm. Mm, I I don't know, but if it doesn't open from the top, I don't see what else it can be. Like, it's got to be some sort of, of course, storage medium because it's a pot. But like, it looks like that's threaded on the side, meaning that you can screw that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's just a weird kind of water bottle. Yeah. I think it's a stone stoneware bed warmer. Put some hot water in and pop it under your sheets. Oh, that sound. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. All right. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, I can see it. That's neat. But why is it out in the open like that? I mean, you can get the same effect by just drinking an entire thing of Arizona iced tea, like the gallon jugs, and then just refilling it with piss. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why that one caught me off guard. <laughs> I only know this because uh, when I was a Boy Scout, we went on a, a, a winter trip to some cabins, and everyone hated the senior patrol leader, so a bunch of the dudes literally downed individual gallons of Arizona iced tea and then spent turns in the corner filling it with piss and then putting it into a sleeping bag. Cool, you made him an Arizona piss jug. And in his words, the bed was quite warm, but honestly, what the f- Hello, found in a river in the south of France, made in stone, part of Emporia. Oh good, we've got a, a French peniste to put for scale. They're just they're stone corks. I get, yeah, I thought they were just like fossilized mushrooms for some reason. My mind's not with it today. Man, <laughs> Corks to... makes so much more sense. Dude, you, you gotta nurse your sups. I've just downed a two portion. Jesus, <laughs> you, you chugged it? <laughs> Pretty much, I need energy. Bottle stoppers. Yeah, they look like clay or some sort of porous stone. Come and say bottle stoppers. Local man's good at looking at rocks. Or maybe you're just way too familiar with the top of a bottle and then the bottom. You're right. I am an alcoholic. You know me with the never drinking for 26 years. Hey, I didn't I didn't drop the A-bomb. Right, that was you that brought that up. <laughs> yeah, I've been caught. What is this thing? I found it as a kid. They never knew what it is. Slightly heavier than it looks. Says US 4 inch on one side, but also has an L in a diamond on the other side. The other side has some mark I can't make out. The triangle is four inches from base to tip. Wow, it's an arrowhead. Is it like it might it looks a bit too big for an arrowhead though, but Dragon Slayer Great Bow, there you go. <laughs> oh shit, you right. <laughs> this is for the Anno Londo archers that we have stationed on the White House. I believe this is an earth anchor, sometimes called an arrowhead anchor. The part that sticks up opposite the point fits into a shaft and gets driven into the ground. There's usually a steel cable that gets routed through the holes. Okay. That's kind cool. of neat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look, and it even says the brand and everything on it. Okay, that I like that. That makes sense. That checks out. You know, nice and concise. That's what I like. Nice. Wasn't sexy, but sure was solved. Oh, uh, it was sexy to me. Circular outlet and wall. What if tinfoil inserted into it? What is this for? Uh, to suicide. <laughs> yeah, to kill you. What? <laughs> This is- hey look, you can see like a little spider coming out of it. Oh, no, don't! Oh, no! Don't little, say that. Little spider friend, he's trying to kill himself too. Oh, don't say that, I don't want to look at that now. Oh, it's a coax cable just missing the coupler. That's not a coax cable. That's tinfoil. That is just a mess of cable. I don't understand, why would you do this? I guess they were just trying to plug it up. I guess, Maybe. probably to keep the little spider in. <laughs> Apparently, uh, it's in there to keep bees and bugs out of it, and the tinfoil is hard for mice to chew. Good to know. Weird tweezers. Probably a kitchen tool. That is most definitely a kitchen tool. Like 100%. Yeah, that looks like a great, that's like a hand grater. Like you put something in there, like a clove of garlic or something, and just, <laughs> just like, <going laughs> like at ape it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Ape with a pair of scissors. It's for squeezing lemon pieces to catch seeds. It is a citrus juicer. I could so use one of these. Really? Dude, I, I use so much lemon juice. Like, I've got normal lemon juice, but, like, not as good as fresh. I, I've never met someone that has, like, would actually benefit from using this, something like this. If they use... How, how many lemons do you use? <laughs> yeah. That's... No, that's not the answer to that question. It is now because I'm closing the tab and the post is over. Post number seven. Let's go back. Post number nine. Post number eight. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. <laughs> Near a gate, Utah. My dad and I came across this on Google Maps today, but no search on Google gave me an answer. What oh, is this? I know this? what that is. I know what that is. How many lemons do you use in a day? I'm curious now. Is no, this no, like a, going... a James Charles palette? What's going on here? No, 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 no. One of those colors looks kind of lemonish. The one at the bottom, right? How many lemons do you use in a day? Yes. I, I don't know. I think this might be a solar panel installation and the phones are just taking at different times of day. Quite possibly. Lemon? 
<laughs> no thanks, I'm good right now. <laughs> How many have you got in your fridge right now? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. How many? Do you just consume? <laughs> there are evaporation ponds near some kind of mineral mine. You can see them here because there is a potash mine and some squares of water. How fascinating. That's actually kind of cool. The, I the, like just that. the different kind of colorations you get from just different minerals. Yeah, that's I like that actually. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like, I like that. that's pretty. a that's a good answer. And look, there's a plateau for for all your plateau needs. That's like a good table to store all your le lemons, Lumo. How many? <laughs> Post number ten. Why does this mailbox have letters around it? Building was built in the early 1900s. That's a cipher for Nicolas Cage to be able to try and find the secret treasure of the United States. <laughs> it's a clue. I think it's probably gonna be like how far you have to turn your key to actually unlock the device, because I'm sure that's like a second layer of security. Oh yeah, that's actually probably a good point. It's probably like a no, no, yeah, that's probably what it is. Or it could just Insert be like search your key to F to pay respects. <laughs> or it could just be like style, you know? Um, no, maybe. But then if it was for style, they would have put something else in there instead of just A B C D E F. E, oh, no. used to be a combo lock, but now is fitted with a key. <laughs> Right. So we were half right. Best of both. I like that. I moved into an old house and found this screwed into the power outlet. It's warm to the touch and has apparently been here for years. What is this thing? A block. It, it's a, it's a powered salt lick block. <laughs> Never runs out of salt for your horses. <laughs> <laughs> Just let them in. Let, let them lick the power outlet. You know, let them have a good time. Oh, good. Fire hazard. <laughs> 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 Oh, that oh, got me. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Regardless of what it is, that discoloration makes it seem like it gets pretty hot, which to me says huge fire hazard. Oh, it's a transformer. Probably for a burglar alarm. Could be for the sprinkler system or other low voltage system. Apparently it does have an old fire alarm, but it's still a fire hazard. Oh my god, when the fire alarm is the fire hazard. God, dude, just get like a, like a smart doorbell. It takes less. Oh my god. Solid paper plate looking cover on wall from bedroom and house built in 1950s in C United States. Why, why? Someone just put a paper plate on their wall. Yeah, that was, it's just like some really bad decoration. <laughs> this is like bad modern art that got painted over. I think they were just trying to cover something on the wall. It's just like, oh, I got nothing. Let's just paper plate. It's a <laughs> cover plate for a stove or fireplace pipe. LOL it, thinking it's a paper plate. I All thought right. the same thing when I was a kid. It's just the design they used for the metal cover panel instead of a gaping hole where the stove pipe went into. Okay, mister, I know what it is, but because nobody else knows the knowledge that I contain in my mind, you are peasants. Screw you! Uh, lol it, thinking it's a paper plate. It looks like a paper plate! Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks like a paper plate covered with spoongili. I got unreasonably angry at that. <laughs> Let's move on. Yes, you did. Strange sculptures found high up along a trail. What are they? They're sculptures. Yeah. Up along the trail. They're also a warning. Are these like, they might just be like um, ancient dream catchers, I guess, maybe? They look pretty mossed over. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. This no, is those, definitely, those like, this is common art. It's, you know, it's just the traditional, like, branch weaving yeah yeah it's just art pieces someone's just practicing their craft yeah they're dream catchers yeah i knew that mainly because there was a side mission in red dead 2. <laughs> amazing thank you rockstar for teaching us then this behind the reception desk of a hotel abandoned in the early 90s any idea what purpose it served i think i know I think that might be for the telecommunications devices and what. It's just a rack. It's so they, they can... It's like all the computer stuff. Some of the computer stuff and like communications, like radios and telephones and whatnot. Or I think it could be that, but I also think it could definitely be some sort of like server port. But the timer, the timer is what messes it up. No, because if it's behind the reception, they wouldn't keep the server port. They wouldn't keep like the server stuff in the reception area. It would be somewhere else. I imagine it's the rack for the telephone system. Ooh. Can I redeem this victory right now? No. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. You're gonna have to bank it for the next episode. No, nope, I'm, nope. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna redeem it right now and bring a cool lemons, Lumo. I'm still very curious. <laughs> yeah, well, your curiosity will go unsatisfied. How many lemons do you consume a day? I need to know. 
I eat them raw sometimes. That's what I'm. That's what I feared. How many? <laughs> At least three. <laughs> What is the hollow part of this for? Never seen anything like it before. Cat size for reference. It's for your big Twinkie. Yeah, no, honestly, I think this might just be either a big Twinkie or if you got a small cat, that's just a hot dog holder. <laughs> Micro cat, big hot dog. <laughs> hey, Jim, you got that new weenie hold to 5,000? Yeah, Ted, look, my cat doesn't fit in it, but the hot dog do. Well, I mean, the cat does fit in it. You're just not pushing hard enough. Okay, yeah, that is true. They are liquid. That is one, that cat looks like it's high as shit. Wait, hold on, why is it a hot dog and why not a hot cat? We don't make I those. think we're making it out of the wrong things. Shall we scroll down? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot, this is what is this thing? <laughs> Possibly a phone table with a storage place for the phone book. So that's where the phone book go. What kind of uh, phone or phone book do you have that's so small? They make small, small ones. Area. It's a small area. Oh, not sure if it's a phone book since it's now six inches in depth and one one foot high. The hollow pot only measures 10 inches wide. I think based on everyone's response, it's most likely a storage shelf that you would put on a counter. Also more cat. His name is Goose. <gasps> oh, Goose! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Callus. My name is Lumo. With me today is Zen. I want that Goose. <laughs> and today we're looking at r slash. What is this thing? A subreddit dedicated to people asking what objects are. However, not every souffle is made to rise, so some of these will probably be Hey guys, they found this weird glowing sphere, what is it? It's a light bulb. And if we find those, we're gonna point and laugh. No, I don't think it's a light bulb, I think it's a resentgen. Okay, okay. Found in a house I moved into. The chain has two corks attached on either end. I do believe this is what the kids call a splendly bop. Oh, uh, that's just... That's where Will Smith resides now. <laughs> Is this where the Will Smith Smithery will is? <laughs> Someone mentioned like Robin Williams is the genie and my brain just melted. I was like, no, that's Will Smith. And I hated myself immediately afterwards. Yeah, that's sacrilege. That That is actually like crucifying territory. Like that was a split moment of me just being like, oh no. <laughs> so I think what this is, is it is a teapot, but if you, not a teapot, sorry, but it's like a normal like drink dispensary but they make it easier to fill because it has that low spout. But also, if you want to get stuff out quickly, you can just open that spout and pour everything out. And it also probably makes it easier to clean. Possibly. It could just be... Yeah, I think it, you're along the right lines. I think that's like something to minute. do with like uh, tea leaves. Wait a minute. It's not a bong. It's not a bong. No. No. We need to talk. It has a bubble here. As in, this is separate. Right here is separate from the rest of the entire container. Have you never had pocket tea? What... Is pocket tea. It's where you have tea within tea. So whilst you <laughs> one tea, you're drinking one tea, and the residual heat whilst you're enjoying that one is heating up the other one so it becomes a more richer flavor. I'm bullshitting. I, that sounded way too <laughs> legitimate. I was full <laughs> ready to believe you. I am British. I know all things about tea. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you, Alex. How could you lie to me? Enjoy pocket tea. <laughs> It's for wine. Ice goes in the side container to keep it cold. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. That's that's big brain. That is big brain. I actually kind of like that. Um, pocket tea. Goddamn piece <laughs> of shit. I'm so mad I fell for that. <laughs> Post number three. Now I'm going to get comments for the next week like, hey, Luma, how about some pocket tea? And then they're going to ask <laughs> if I want it with lemons and it will never end. Lemon pocket tea. Oh, that doesn't sound half bad, actually. <laughs> Dude, we need to patent pocket tea right now. John Calvis and Zen, we, we got it. Removed a wall plate and found this mirrored contraption fitting in some of the electrical junction box. Any idea what it is? Wall socket. Sorry, <coughs> sorry, hold on. <coughs> Did you just say John Calvis and Zen? <laughs> we can't both be John Calvis if we're both in the room. No, John Calvis is the moniker. You, <laughs> you imposter. <laughs> You're trying to step into shoes that don't exist. <laughs> Uh, I can read the answer to this one. It's just a circle to me. I can't comprehend this. I don't care. I don't care about this stupid little <laughs> wall socket thing. Mr. John It's Calvis. only post three. We can't be falling off the railroad <laughs> this quickly. <laughs> the railroad was never even laid. <laughs> this is we a... go where we want. <laughs> I can't wait for the comment. These guys never talk about the posts. <laughs> Ah, so this is an old alarm motion sensor. Break the beam, set off the alarm, look a perpendicular wall for the other half. Could just be a small mirror or reflector to the other wall to bounce the beam back. Cool. I... <laughs> 
So I'm j I'm actually just taking my first look at this image. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> This thing was above my hospital bed. None of the nurses know what it is or is for. It's a circle. It's <laughs> actually what is that? I think it's just a light. It's just a light fixture that didn't get filled. It's either that or a uh, probably some sort of detector like a carbon monoxide or a smoke detector. Or my personal favorite, it guides the kill beam down if you're infected with something incurable. This is true. I mean, how else are you meant to release the cyanide cream that fills the room? <laughs> Infection detected. Release the shaving cream. <laughs> I'm just imagining it's like it's like just a bunch of spockets on the wall, and it just fills up with that like fluoride gel that they used to use in schools. <laughs> Could you imagine that, right? Just after like multiple years of it never being used, and suddenly, oh no, it needs to be used. It just goes. It's just deflated. <laughs> dribbles there's just like one like half zombified dude in there just kind of like tripping over the slippery foam <laughs> battery powered emergency light the red light shows that it has power and the battery is charging when the power fails that light comes on automatically automatically to light your escape neat i was was a better on yeah i think hospitals need to hit us up we have some gold ideas here i loved these candies at my grandparents but didn't know the name of them anyone now how could you not know the name of your own grandparents I mean, they are tasty snacks. <laughs> Dude, no, I actually want the answer to this. These were my fucking jam back in they're the day. Uh, I think they're like fruit jellies. Wait, no. Oh, these are the hard sweets. Yeah, these are like the, it's like the weird cream filled strawberry ones that don't exist anywhere besides your grandparents house. Wait, they're cream filled. I, I, I know of the ones that are like, like solid all the way through. Uh, They've got like a weird like name but I, I i know what they are but cream filled have i found a cryptid candy yeah no they, they you can see it right here that, that like orange bit there there's a version of this that my grandparents had that were filled with like gusher jelly almost so you would uh -huh. suck through it and then it would just like nut in your mouth with delicious strawberry stop. taste stop stop <laughs> Okay, we've had cyanide cream already. We have already <laughs> surpassed the threshold. We've had cyanide cream, not f jelly gusher juice. <laughs> the cool I don't the want your grandma's gusher juice. <laughs> oh, buy these for my husband all the time. I have an empty jar on the shelf right now. Heller and Strauss, tutti fruity fruit flavored candies. That's a hell of a name. How much are these? Oh, is it too? Wait, it's tutti fruity. How much are these? <gasps> How much are these? <coughs> How much are these? Aren't you on a diet right now, man? How much are these? You're on a diet. <laughs> Lumo, stop. $30. Stop, they're reasonably priced. Stop. That's not reasonable Stop at right all. now. <laughs> Two pounds for $30. <laughs> that is reasonable, you're right. <laughs> stop, Lumo. Stop right now. Gifted to me by my late grandfather. There is a crank which spins the big gear. It's mainly made out of metal and mounted on a wed- uh, wedding. A wooden base plate. Uh, it's a wheelchair for plants. D <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need time to process that sentence you just said to me. A wheelchair for plants. Because <laughs> they're literal vegetables. <laughs> oh, shit. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck <laughs> and I haven't even touched my energy juice for today. <laughs> my grandparents had one of these and I don't know what it is either. I just want to scroll down. <laughs> what happens when you turn the handle? That's not an answer. It's a crank. <laughs> it's a tabletop tobacco cutter. That's, a <laughs> That's so big. That's at least like... Oh, no, it's on a table. Look, there are chairs. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. But go back to the other image. <laughs> go back to the other image. How big a cigarette? How big a blunt were they doing in the past? Well, no, I want to go back there. It's fine. Look, it's on a table. <laughs> it's a fucking guillotine platform. <laughs> Did you ever see those old cigarette cutters from way back in the day, like little circle ones that you like push together? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought how terrible it would be to get your dick stuck in one of those. Oh, I was going to go finger. I mean, if you're rolling up down there, then... I mean, it's the, it's the perfect size and length to template your... Post number eight! Why is there a plug on the stairs? On the second stair of an 100-year-old bungalow, uh, the tube opens to the basement. Well, that's just your basement tube. Yeah, that's how you feed the children that you've got down there. <laughs> You said that too. You were too ready for that. You is were. That, is this just? Is that just a British thing? Yes. 
<laughs> we, we've never had a child abduction here in America where they had to be kept in the basement. We normally keep them in the living room so they can watch SpongeBob. We're not animals, we're human traffickers. <laughs> well, that's where you you went wrong. Uh, I maybe I like to think that maybe this is just like a giant glow stick for those for those dark wintry nights. You just bring up the the stair glow stick. Are we okay right now? I think something has happened to both of us. <laughs> Wood-fired furnace heat shaft. It's a vent. Oh, that's neat. It's not so basically. For, it's not for child feeding at all. Well, no, the children are still down there. They're just providing heat. Oh, now, now we have two different <laughs> options. You're using the children for slave labor to keep the fire going, or you are using the children as fuel for the fire. I was going for the latter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, think about it, right? Because if they're if you if they're working to keep it, you still have to feed them. And back then, few, food was scarce. Hey, quite. I'm sorry that we're not getting monetized for this video. <laughs> Brass bomb, or that's what the guy at the estate sale called it. It's heavy, metal body, and has 18 concave brass knobbly things. No markings of any kind. Seems to be solid. Ideas? It's an art piece. It's either an art piece or. Do you do you remember those like old vibrating toys that, <gasps> that look like that? Yeah! Cause that's where my mind went to immediately. Apparently <laughs> it's just an object de decor. Oh, it, it is yeah, just it's... an art piece. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a lot of brass. <laughs> With gold knobs. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I found this on a beach in Delaware. It looks like fossilized honeycomb. It's fossilized honeycomb. Yeah, no, it's just fossilized honeycomb. It's, it could actually be something like um, really porous rock. Or maybe turtle shell. Ooh, can we move on? It's giving me tryptophobia a little bit. It's coral. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was a lot simpler than we were thinking. God damn it. All I can think of is those walking dead memes. Coral, your mother is dead. <laughs> <laughs> coral, a big riveted iron pipe smokestack in a 19th century Pepe Silvia cemetery. Um, that looks like it's just a chimney for an underground area. Yeah. It's probably a little kind of crematorium underneath. Yeah, it's either a crematorium or they got the morgue underground and that's just to let the dead juice out. Uh, well, if it's dead juice, maybe actually that's the uh, the ventilation for the uh, the jam center. I mean, okay, look, you, it's 19th you, century. You have embodied cursed comments so well in the last hour since we spoke. <laughs> you think I'm joking about this one. Back then, uh, why do you think it's underground? It's so people wouldn't see it. And where do you think jam came from? No! Nobody's using the you bodies! Are you are not getting me with this! I'm not that no. stu- I am a himbo! I am not a vegetable! I have thoughts and feelings and you will not manipulate me on this one! Look man, all I'm saying is, slow roast those, right? It's like pulled pork, and you just get those juices out, you just let it congeal, that's good jam. That's not even jam, that's just like venison made of people! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, it's not jam, it's conserved. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a standpipe. They were used by water systems before the 1870s throughout the early 20th century to provide a pressure head to maintain water pressure for the system. They were oh, eventually me. replaced by water towers that could provide pressure as well as volume. Just like me. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> insult how I blew my nose. <laughs> Was that what- I thought you just moved something on your desk. <laughs> my dad found this on the road. He picked it up so that no one ran it over. We have no idea what it is. Dull at the top, but it gets thinner towards the bottom. But it's getting thinner towards the top, you dirty liar. I'm just saying, but that looks like it's a large shell casing. It's not. It, it has the squoo. It is probably oh. just like the top of a fence or something. This isn't yeah. sexy, and I can't make jokes about it, but it does look like a butt plug. That's actually where my mind went first of all as well. Yeah, it's a fence pole tip. And, oh. and a butt plug for the brave. My contractor brings this with him to my house every day, and I'm not sure what it is. It says Uruguay on the front. It's a cup. Actually, no, what's in the cup? That looks like sand. It's Uruguay, the entire country. <gasps> oh, no. When did it pass? Wait a minute. Why? My contractor brings this with him into my house every day. Ask! Jeez, yeah, that's a good point. Just ask, dude. This is like the most blatant <laughs> I just want karma that I've ever seen. I mean, it's next to what looks like a large thermos, so maybe it's like some sort of coffee granule? No! He keeps his ramen in there. That's just the flavor packet. 
He just pours some herbs into the thermos and he's got warm, warm, delicious instant ramen. Herbe mate teacup. They're all over South America. So popular it has its own emoji. Where's the emo Okay, hang on. I'm going to try and type this. Where's this emoji? Uh, emoji. Um, uh, it's not on Discord. Yeah, hold on. I think we're being made fun of. Oh, it's the mate emoji. Mate? It's a traditional South American caffeine rich infused drink. It is made by steeping yerba mate leaves in hot, hot water and is then served on a clash barred gourd. Why are you spamming our chat with mate? I love my noodles. Small flat metal piece with three different sized holes and a cat. Well, that's for measuring the cat's butthole. All I'm thinking of is just that's a really weird knuckle duster. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, it kind of looks like the blender icon. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like a, like a sad, like, one prong missing blender. <gasps> Hold on. It's a frog in the style of Picasso's scream. It's that, but a frog. <gasps> <laughs> it is. We found it. Uh, bottom, middle, bottom, middle, bottom, middle. <laughs> I I hate that one with teeth. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for you today on Calpus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share it with a friend who has no interest in getting any answers on any of the items we looked at today. <laughs> we didn't we didn't do the last post. What that was, was it? the last post. Oh yeah, what was it? <laughs> rewind, rewind the outro. <laughs> it's a multiple lock to use on poor quarter rope or guy ropes for tents. Okay, cool. And what is this thing we found while renovating? We haven't touched it since my dad thinks it's an explosive from World War II. About 10 inches long. Yeah, that looks like a bomb. Uh, I was going to say it looks <laughs> like a, a badminton birdie. What? No, it's not a badminton birdie? Excuse me? You should, you should hit it with a, with, a, with a badminton badminton racket. See what happens. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think it's called? A, a, a badminton racket? <laughs> no. What do you think the thing that you play badminton with is called? Like the actual ball? It's a shuttlecock, but we can't say no, that in the first minute. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> we can't say cock on public TV. It's anymore. a shuttlecock. It's, it's a sports thing. <laughs> the algorithm doesn't care. <laughs> 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 yeah, it looks like a bomb. It looks like a mortar shell kind of thing. Eat it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Galvis. My name is Lumo, and today with me is my good friend, Zen Bear. Hello. And today we are looking at r slash what is this thing? A subreddit dedicated to asking one simple question. What is this thing? Let's just get um, right into this thing. Thing. Thing thing. Thing thing? Thing thing thing. My parents have had this hanging on their wall for years. It's like a French to English abacus. That's... What the... What? What? That... That's cool. What is that? That is some. That's a lot of space for what is essentially Google Translate right now. <laughs> it's the Rosetta cubes. You know how the Rosetta Stone translates languages? This does the same, but it's a bunch of blocks. It looks. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I would probably actually use that mainly because it looks like it'd be fun to just play with. <laughs> it, I mean, abacuses are just like a child's toy nowadays. So like, hundred percent, homie. This looks like a toy you'd find in a doctor's waiting room. You know, aesthetically, though, it's kind of pleasing. I kind of like it. Like, this is a nice wall ornament. What is this in a lake in Ohio? Drains into a big pipe at the bottom of a hill. I know. I was about to say, I know what this is, too. <laughs> it's it's an overflow. It's it's an overflow. It's a hole. human blender. Oh, I, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there are blades at the bottom for making a delicious smoothie of idiots who swim too close to the obvious wormhole. They don't want us finding out about that other universe. Well, this is the way to stop, just blenders. <laughs> just blenders across every wormhole. But no, do you actually, like, have you heard the horror stories of things around dams? What horror stories about things are, that's very vague. <laughs> okay, so uh, dams, in case you don't know, hold water. Now that's that's step one of understanding this difficult problem. But oh, basically- Hang on, I'm, I, I need to take that in. <laughs> there is what's, I think it's called a flow zone or something. But basically there's a period of rough water around one of these and a dam, which creates this basically inescapable current that loops back into itself. So if you get pulled under by a dam, you do not come back out. I'm just saying, you said flow zone and I thought that was like a 90s boy band. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted it their way and they never got it. Metal three to four inches with glass balls. That, mm. okay, yeah, it's a, it's a light fixture. It's an, it's an old reflector for a railroad. Oh. That's neat. I don't know what else to say to this. Do you have any funny ha-has? No, I'm just saying it kind of triggers my um 
Tryptophobia a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I was gonna say it, but I figured if I didn't say it, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Makes I, me kind of want to throw up a little bit looking at it. It does look like a very, <laughs> very like... organized cherry pie with just the <laughs> cherries on top. Man, I want some cherries now. How could you do this to me? Quite easily. You know what? That's fair. I found this in a dirt basement of an old house I was cleaning out. What is this thing used for? It's a chain. That's a chain. That's just straight up a chain. It probably has a very specific use, but it's just a chain, which could be used for many different things. It's an ornamental chain. Like I have an ornamental chain that hangs the uh, my lamp from the roof. This is just an ornamental chain. Yeah, and everyone else is basically saying you are the proud owner of a lamp chain. <laughs> Why did this have to go on the sub? Like, how stupid do you have to be? I feel there's going to be a lot of dumb questions and dumb posts like this. Guys, I found something that looks like a chain, but it's square, and I think it tried to kill my mom. Help. What's that? What's, what channel is that? That's like really shitty ghost hunters program. Sci-fi. Yeah, they'll probably go in there and investigate. <laughs> this chain killed this person's mother. We're here to find out how. I found 14 years ago in a hole in a log on the Dallas Beach Road of Victoria, BC, Canada. What? A mystery that remains unsolved. It's just rocks with little indents. How is this a mystery? How is this a mystery? It was probably just some kids having some fun. I tried to understand my relationship with stone. I... What the f*** is this? Oh, it's just some spirituality stuff. Why is this EG hidden up here? It's the hidden egg. <laughs> These are the hidden eggs. <laughs> Mystery solved, let's move on. No, I need more answers. What is we this? We found the mystery egg. Move on. <laughs> okay, man-made ceramic rocks. Okay, cool, we got it. I inherited this from my grandpa. It probably belonged to my great-grandpa. What are the tools used for? Drawing? It came with a vintage how-to sketchbook. Well, it's just... Gee, guys, this this paint this paintbrush-looking thing came with some paint. Can you tell me what it is? I have no idea. <laughs> this is dumb. This... I, yes, it's a drawing kit. Holy sh... So we don't often talk about this, but Quite makes the lists for us that we use to basically, you know, do these videos. Because otherwise, if someone else doesn't make it, it's not fresh for us. So we can't give you our best, you know, reactions to it. I'm starting to get convinced he made this list because he knew we would lose our minds at these people. <laughs> Quite your evil man. <laughs> he wants us to kill them if this is the ploy. <laughs> Hey, I found a sketching <laughs> kit. I don't know what it is. What is this? Hey, guys, this thing has ink coming out the top like pen. Not quite sure what it is, though. Yeah, vintage drafting kit. And it's got tools for straight lines like a ruler. And it's oh, spindly, yeah. Bob. Not gonna lie, it does look quite cool. Yeah, it no, does it, look quite nice. It's sick, and I love the case. The case is ornate and beautiful. But also, couldn't you have... You could have asked your dad, maybe? Or, like, whatever <laughs> parent. This grandpa was responsible for, you know, nothing out? Because, like... If he inherited it, he probably got like a message with it being like, you have inherited this drafting kit. It would have oh, probably just told him straight up. You're right. No, they totally would have. That makes this even more infuriating. I hate this person. What is that metal thing around the arms? Thomas Shelby from Perky Blinders around the year 1900. It's a metal chain. It's an ornamental. It's an accessory. They are shirt <laughs> bands, also called sleeve garters. They are to stop shirt cuffs from slipping over the hand whilst allowing enough fabric at the shoulder for a good degree of movement. Suspenders for your elbow. Yeah, it's, ju it's just elbow suspenders. What is this thing and was it meant to demagnetize? I know, I know, because I used to have to use them daily. Yeah, retail, yeah? What? <laughs> oh. What? We use a magnet to get the, the, the things off the... Th well, we use a magnet to get the things off the things on Best Buy. Oh, no, yeah, this is... I used to work in, like, uh, tele... I don't even know the best way to describe it. Basically, we made like fiber optic components for data transmission hubs. Oh yeah, because you were you were a cable junkie. Yeah, basically. We, I, I worked in like a clean room, like clean room with like suits, <laughs> anti-static suits and all that. Oh God, I just remembered you like coming home one night like, right, fucking hate my job. Yeah, it sucks. It absolutely sucked. It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was horrendous. But basically all these are, it's just because you're dealing with like really small kind of components that go in computers and whatnot, you need to like demagnetize and magnetize to get screws in as you need to to like put the components in and whatnot. It, it's for screwdrivers and other such tools. Yeah, I used this to take the tags off an Oculus Rift once for a customer. I can't afford that. <laughs> I thought you were stealing it. <laughs> the dog with little bundles of paper in its fur. Why? They're just hair clips because this dog is a mop. It's just hair clips. Why are they paper bundles? No, they're probably some like special soft thing so it doesn't agitate the dog's fur. But yeah, even the top comment, seeing this on the tails of some horses, 
It's to prevent long hair from dragging on the ground, mostly used for show animals. That dog is a professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dog gets paid to be a dog. You know what? I, I was going to give this person crap, but no, at a glance, I wouldn't know what that is either. But I have one one big issue. Did you just take a creep shot of somebody else's dog? That's the hidden story here. I can right click save as putting that in the folder. Oh, what folder? <laughs> My doggy folder. <laughs> is, that, is that just a mix of like Riley Reed clips and cute dogs? No, that's a subfolder for POV. It's fine. <laughs> Blue chips. What is this cardboard chip used for? Found in a geocache in Sweden. I think this is probably a promotional thing. Or a pog. <laughs> yeah, top comment says pog. Dude, poggers <laughs> in chat, boy. <laughs> you went for a geocache and you got a pog. That's a true pog moment. Dude, that, that you know what that makes them? What? The pog champ. <laughs> oh! My friend's dad, who just passed, used this as a boat anchor and always wondered what it was. He thought it came from a GE plant that manufactures aviation parts. You want to take a guess at what this is? Because this just looks like a powered off dildo to me. Everything looks like a dildo to you. I mean, I'm brave. I'm a brave boy. <laughs> I think this is actually an anchor, but the idea behind it, I, I don't know why it's so smooth, but the idea is that if you're like going where there isn't a dock, you can just go on land and you could just like kind of drill it into the ground to anchor it down. That's smart. That's my theory. That would that would make sense. It looks like a rotor from a progressive cavity pump. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, we were both wrong. But there's no rope, so we they, the, it's still the jury's still out. Yeah, so it looks like he's just repurposed it from something. That's all. Yep, it's a screw pump, but GE used to produce them, huh. so his theory was half right. Actually, no, his theory was oh, yeah. fully right. Just bought a house, and this was in the backyard. It's concrete and hollow, and a few feet deep. Doggo for scale. Have you considered? It's a well. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that makes more sense. I would have thought it would be. It's just like a sewer opening, so for like drainage. It could have been an old sewer opening, you never know. And it is a flagpole base mount. You'd get it in a kit for a 20 to 35 foot pole. Buy the kit, dig the hole, comes with rod, put rod in hole, sex the lawn. I mean, cool, I guess. Uh, make sure that gets, you know, that stays sealed up because you wouldn't want your child to, <laughs> to fall inside the flag hole. Then they'll never get out and you'll have a gross cylinder shaped baby. Think about it this way, right? If that is so deep, and that's so sturdy. Think of the washing pole that you can put in there. Think of like, you could just put in like a giant washing pole, like washing dryer for your clothes. You could make a literal tree that dries your clothes. That sounds amazing. <laughs> it's the clothing tree. What is this? It's heavy metal brass and has a dial on the sides. Well, you see, that's the Millennium Pyramid, one of the many Millennium artifacts that are scattered throughout the world. Uh, there's one that's in I <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I hear a rich man owns that one. This I can this I can actually answer this. I, I think I have an idea of what it is. It's like a it, well, isn't it like an old fashioned dial or something like it's like I measuring think, day. Like no, day I think this something? is an ancient astrology, an ancient astrology item because it it can't be a sextant because you can't look through it. So what hmm. I think it is is you're basically like calibrating it to the known stars in your hemisphere to get a get a feeling of like. Not the calendar day, but like where all the other stars are in relation to, you know, your charting point. So they probably, they probably calibrate this to like Polaris or something and then, you know, worked from there. Huh. Cause like, if you look on the back, it's got like a star chart date kind of deal. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking along the lines of, uh, it's to track the days and the day, like time of day and the days in the month. That's what I was thinking along the lines of. I could see the days of the month because again, it's tracking like the position of the stars. But I can't see this being used as a clock because this dial, right, like this rod seems to be something you have to deliberately move. Found these in an ammo box, but can't figure out what they are. I'm pretty sure that's a pen flare. Uh, yeah, that could be a pen flare. Um, I would, I don't know, it might be something for unjamming it because it looks like it has like a spring trigger on it. True. It could also be a suction pen. Like uh, if you're trying to find like um, little tiny screws and whatnot, you could just like put it in and you pull it up and get suction and it just pulls up little bits of debris. Alternate option, blowgun. True. It might also be, what is it, like a pepper spray gun? Like a pepper spray pen. Like it yeah, it could be a mace of... pen. Or it could be the Call of Duty Black Ops ballistic knife without knife. It actually kind of looks like it, and I say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it is. Tear gas pens. Ooh. You were correct, and you could buy them from ads and comics. Hey there, kids, you enjoyed the exploits of Batman? Well, buy his favorite, favorite gadget, tear gas. Actually, let's see if there's any more. Like, I, I'm debating if the top comment is always the right one. Uh, pen flares, another one you said. 
Possibly modified to shoot something else, but I'm pretty sure at the base, that's a pen flare. Uh, pen flare, flare pen, pocket pen, flare pen. Ah. Oh, jeez. Bear bangers, pardon? That was my name in high school. No, it wasn't. What's a bear banger? Oh, bear. It's, it, yeah, it's just to, like, make a loud noise to scare bears away. Oh, no, crap, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, mm, team killed by Bear Banger. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, please do let us know because this was a brand new subreddit. It was a brand new subreddit day. We didn't even call attention to it at the start because we were that sure you'd like it. As always, if you did truly enjoy it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe even share it with a friend who needs to know how to scare bears with a pen. <laughs> yeah, that's important. On that note, my name has been Luma. With me today has been my good friend Zen Bear. And as always, we hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a lovely day. Everybody.